Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right, Vicky. Shake loose everything, everything that's to bind you up. up. I Hallelujah. love that. Good evening and welcome once again to For Better For Worse Ministry. I'm your host, Donald Ross, and with me is the love of my life, my most beautiful wife, <laughs> Yolanda Ross. How you doing, baby? I am wonderful. How good, are you, man good. of I'm God? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm you doing look good. handsome this evening, honey. Yeah, you go ahead on that. Don't start nothing up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited because... I like that song by Vicky Wise. That's right. You're about to break through. I'm telling you, that's prophetic. You need to say <laughs> that in your homes to not today that we are about to break through. That's and it's a shake it loose. Shake loose everything. everything they bind you, you up. Isn't, I know that's it, isn't right. that the word? You gotta whatever, do that sometimes. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound yeah. in heaven. Whatever and whatever we, we loose on, on earth shall be loose in, in heaven. heaven. Oh, Hallelujah. Well, we welcome you once again for joining us today. This is uh, week five and mm. uh, woo, you know, time just went by so fast yes, when you're did. having fun yes. and enjoying yourself and doing works for the Lord so he can get all the praise and all the glory. Yes, so we want to say hi to everybody. And yes. uh, today's message is on faith. Oh, my God. Because we have to walk by faith. Yes. Faith Amen. is is so important. And I just want to say, and I know Yolanda was like, well, you know, maybe, maybe not. But faith, everybody uses a little measure of faith. Yes. Yes. Whether you saved or not saved. Now, the unsaved call it luck. Amen. Yeah. They call it luck. I like that. Yeah. Those that are saved, we call it faith. We yes. know those things that be not as though they were. We can call them out and we have to believe what we say. Yes. Amen. So today we like my honey said, we're going to be talking about keeping the faith, keeping the faith in the midst of your challenge. Yes. You know, because some of us have faced some real situations uh -huh. this year and uh -huh. the past year uh -huh. and actually for some years now. That we wouldn't have never thought that we would have had to experience such as job loss. Right. Um, turbulence in your marriage. Sickness. Uh-huh. Um, foreclosures or short sales yes. for your home. Uh, your children acting like they just don't know Jesus yeah. at all. <laughs> Jesus all throughout the house. But they don't know who Jesus <laughs> is at all. Yes. Uh, evil, it, even evil influences all around you. Yes. And, you know, someone, some of you may have said, like we've said before, you know, what is going on? I know Marvin Gaye, didn't he say, tell me what's going what's on? What's going on? What's going tell on? Tell me what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? We, I mean, sometimes... <laughs> We, look, we are here, too, because laughter is good for the soul. So we want to just give you a little laughter. But for real, this is for real. Because have you ever felt like you was on a roller coaster ride? Mm. And you just like, oh, my God, I'm going up. I'm going down. And, I, and, and you can't get off. You just got to ride it out. You know, even I don't like roller coasters, but one of my favorite is the Scooby-Doo. And the Scooby-Doo is like a kiddie roller coaster. But guess what? Even the kiddie roller coaster, you can't get off in the you middle of the ride. ride you got to ride it out. And that's what we are here this evening to encourage you to ride, ride it, it out. out. Ride your <laughs> faith out. Guess what? You, can, you may say you're not successful in the world. You may feel like you haven't accomplished anything. Amen. But let me tell you in the Lord, oh my God, you can be a faith matriarch. That's something, it doesn't cost anything to mm -hmm. have faith. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who you are, yes. you can have faith. Doesn't matter where you came from, yes. you can have faith. Guess what, with Jesus, it's not like man. Uh -huh. You know, and even he has a gift of faith sometimes. Come on. So you, it doesn't cost you anything to have faith. But you know, sweetie, uh, a lot of times we never really know what our true measure of faith is until we're faced with a, a situation or consequence yes. that requires us to really acknowledge the fact that, okay, you know what? I got to have some faith. I yes. got to believe something. You know, and we're going to push luck to the side because luck can't get this. Oh, luck is nowhere in I the Bible. Have, because 
Whenever we all got in trouble at one point in time in our life about something, who the first one we called on? Oh, God. God. Oh, Jesus. God, yes. Well, most of us said God. Yes. God, if you get me out of this one, yes. I promise yes. you I won't do it again. Yes. And Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Many of you are familiar yes. with it. It says now faith, now not faith. tomorrow faith, not yesterday faith, yeah. but right That's now faith, now is, faith. The of hoped for, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Can't see it, but I'm going to believe it. That's right. Yes. That's right. And it's just like. Go ahead. Honey, um, we're reminded. And sometimes you got a lot of time. You got to wait on faith. You got to wait. We told we talked about um, how the car messed up and and, uh, you know, and it was so funny, like I said, you know, because normally my, my procedure would have been to get right on it and get right. Yes, on it. But this yes. time it, it was totally different, you know, and we just waited it out, you know, and we just kept on moving forward and believing, OK, we're going to get this straight. You know, yes. we just kept on believing. Yes. And lo and behold, we, we had a, we, we, we were blessed and we got the car fixed. And just right after the car fix, got the truck straight and everything. I mean, we're just rolling, right? I come home and the ice maker and the refrigerator stopped working. Right. <laughs> and I'm but, like, I'm like, but, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> but let's go back to the blessing. We got a financial blessing for the car part. Yes. Like you said, what if we were to rush? Because our natural inclination is, yeah, we got to get this done. Yeah. And you know, you're the kind of man of God. I thank God for you yes. because you don't want things to be broke down or you don't want me to be without. So you would have normally been like, yeah, I got to get this done. I'm, Yolanda, we got to get this done and this and that. But it does when you wait. Oh, my God, you're waiting. And some of you are waiting for some things to manifest even in your relationship. Mm -hmm. And you're getting a little impatient. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, don't. Those that wait upon the Lord, yes. they shall renew their strength. They shall man up wings like an eagle. That's they right. shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and, and not faint. faint. And just like I was saying about the ice maker, you know, I, it could have been a point that I tripped out about that. I'm like, like, you know, most of us and, and be real would have said, you know, really? Right. OK. What, know, after yeah. all this, really? Yes. And so what I did was I didn't even think twice about it. You know, I got to reading on my situation, which brings me oh, to the word. Oh, wow. Yes. See, the, it wasn't the, the instructions to fix the ice maker wasn't in the word. Yeah. <laughs> but the principle is that I went to the book. My I God. On, I went to Google, uh -huh. you know, and was looking up some stuff and did. Now, all the things that I did or I read, I had to apply, but then I had to wait to see the results because they wow. were instantaneous. Yes. Wow. Because when I went to sleep and then got back up, my wife said, honey, the ice maker making all kinds of noise and humming and this, that, and that. I said, praise God. He it's did. That's what he again. said. It's making, I it's like making it. It's making ice again. And I'm thankful for you being a handyman. I know that's right. You know right. what? And a man that yeah. don't mind searching and saying, I might not have the answer, but guess what? I'm going to see. Well, you know, since I've been walking with God here. Yes. I have had a level of confidence mm. in, in, in the ability that he has already given us to do things. He says that all things are possible to them who believe. Oh, my God. Yes. And so through him. I can do all things. All things. And, and so yes. I believe that. And you know, that's one of the scripture, Philippians 4 and 13. We gave both of our kids in school. We told Donna Jr. Mm -hmm. Darrell. Some of you may not be familiar, but Darrell had, um, has um, a condition. He was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy. But guess what? We told him, just like we told Donald Jr., you can do all things through Christ who, who strengthened you. you. So guess what? Both of them got the honor roll. Even when Darrell had some um, learning problems in school, guess what? We told him, you can be at the top of your class. That's right. And guess what? He had honor roll consecutively. Sometimes when Donald Jr. would miss it sometimes. Yeah. But the point is, the word works. I don't care what your delay is. That's right. I don't care what your abilities or lack of ability. That's what they call a disability, the yeah. reverse of ability. I don't care what man 
says. I don't care what the diagnosis and process. We don't care because we know that God's word works. So you say, well, how does that tie in with marriage? Look, if you're single and, and you're tired of waiting, you still got to wait on your boy ass. Oh, yeah. Cause he'll send it to you. you, know, you have to line up now, but he'll send you your boy ass. Yeah, not the and, bozo. And, and meanwhile, while he's doing that, prepare yourself. Yeah. Because, see, so a lot of times that's what happens with men and or women. We pray for that man or woman of God. Yes. But then we're not ready to receive that man or woman of God. Yes. And I think sometimes, honey, I'm so glad that you mentioned that mm -hmm. because especially to the singles, um, at the, at when you are waiting, some of you say you trust God, but sometimes they don't trust God because they don't trust God to say, God, you know what I need. Amen. And so therefore they enter into the bed together mm. because they're the saying, drive. I'm waiting on God, but I'm a test drive this, just in case God don't know what I need in the bed. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a fulfill That's my right. flesh. But real. let me tell you the God, God is omnipresent. God is everywhere. God knows what you need. He knows what size you need. He knows with width, with length, all of that you need. So don't ever discount what God knows that you need. But see, some of you saying I'm trusting God, but while you're trusting God, you're going to work your own thing out. Yeah. And that's not Amen. what God wants. God doesn't want, even though we are ex fornicators and ex shackers, we tell anybody. I don't <laughs> I don't remember because that. we are we're new I'm creatures. A new creature. Yeah, we're new that. creatures. But guess what? Amen. To some of those that's new creatures Amen. and still doing the old deeds, guess what? Wait on God. Trust Him. Have faith that God knows the kind of mate you need. And in Hebrews eleven and six, it says, "But without faith, it yes. is impossible to please Him." Yes. Without faith, it is impossible My God. to please Him. Him being God. Yes. Amen. For he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him yes he is that oh my god we have to we have to try to find out all the time what it is that he wants us to do hello caller you're on the air man i enjoy you all <laughs> praise god how are hey, you hey, 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 listen you know that story of uh uh hagar yes abraham yes. and Abraham wouldn't wait on Sarah, so he tried to find him a cleanup woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you and I <laughs> you, you all up in that message. <laughs> we can better talk and, about and, that. And, and, and <laughs> so you got to, you have to wait. Uh, my soul waited patiently upon the Lord because yes. my expectation is from Him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. And Amen. the flesh. The flesh craves, but if you wait on God, sometimes the best wine, when I used to drink back in the day, uh, the best wine is seasoned wine. That's yeah. right. Amen. Amen. And it Moses gets better with to, time. Moses had to wait on the backside of the desert 40 years. He was 80 years old. Amen. Come on here. Yes. Well, the last time that you that you called in to talk to us, you said you was treating you, you, your friend very well. Yeah, she just is happy. Uh, she working. It, it took a while, man. You yeah, know, man. Yeah. Cause I had to. You know, she nice and fine and all, but I waited. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I've, and I've treated her like a lady, and she has Amen. respected me. And she got kids too. Amen. That's all right. Yeah. Amen. And, but I, I mean, I love her kids too. Amen. I never, it's I, a full I, I never had any kids. Okay. Well. We it's and so what, what God did, he shut up my womb in one way, but opened it up to have love for somebody else's kids. Yes. Let oh, that's you, true let love. Let me tell you something, my brother. I have much respect for any man that can take yes. um, uh, uh, kids that are not biologically his and make them his own and Amen. treat them just as though they were his. I got much respect for that. Amen. All day long. Amen. And you know, and so you know, they, you know, their fathers were nowhere around. Amen. And so my daddy, my mother and father, I come. My my parents were married sixty years. Amen. Amen. That's and awesome. And so I had a, you know, I know what that's like. Amen. And so I used to question God. I said, Lord, you never gave me no kids. And so now, Lord, said, now wait a minute, now you you, you, you was a player once upon a time, but you just <laughs> didn't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, but look my, here, my brother, do this for me. We yeah. like to know your name and everything. So uh, if you would um, not hang up, um, I well, mean, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I heard your wife is a realtor. Yes, yes. yes. I well, look here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm looking for a house and a, 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 a three bedroom house. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you need my number. Amen. Amen. So can and, you call and, and us you, back you after call, the show? You call me. Well, call us oh. after the show is so there, we can get your information. Is there a way we can get his number or uh, his name? He can call us back after the show. He can call us back after the show, please. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. All right. Okay. What, okay. What, what's your name? Just so we know who Tim, it is. Tim. Timothy Leroy Horton III. Amen. Amen. They Amen. call me T uh, T L. T L. All right, T L. Thank you very much. Okay. We'll talk to you soon. And God bless God you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I, Brother Tim, all up in our message. Yes, Lord. God That's is the Holy good. Spirit. That's the Holy Ghost right there. Yes. And so, like we said, we have to diligently seek him. Yes. Well, I, I mean, and I love that part because it says diligently. Amen. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Sure. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hey. Good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Can you turn, Can you your, turn TV? your TV down just a little bit? Yes. How can we help you? Yes, this is Sister LaVita, and I just called to say I love you guys. <laughs> Amen. That Thank you're doing God. an awesome job, and I'm encouraged. Oh, Amen. to God be the to glory. To God be the glory. Thank you so much. Yes, man. This is my first time getting an opportunity to see you all because I'm normally at work. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. We are so, so I just pray that God will increase you guys on every side. Hallelujah. Thank Continue you. the good work, and um, we just love you guys, and so glad to have you. Oh, Amen. we love y'all, too. God bless you. God Thank bless you, you minister. Sis. How awesome. God is so awesome. That is wonderful. It is. And, you know, let's get back to what we were saying about, oh, we just appreciate everybody. That is, Thank that you for is all awesome. y'all prayers yeah, that, and support as well. Because right. You know, oh, my God. But have you ever had, like, a promise, a dream, and and it just seemed like it's mm -hmm. never going to come to pass or God must have forgotten? Have you ever said that God must have forgotten about me? Everybody around me look like they're getting blessed or it just look like God won't do it. And we, again, can testify um, to that feeling that way before. But remember, every time we feel as though God is not going to Amen. do something, Amen. we can be remember of God's promises because God doesn't make promises that he can't keep. He's not like all the other people who may have disappointed you. Joshua 21 and 45 says that there they fell no. Go ahead. There fell no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel. Yes. All came to pass. Which also reminds me of another one. Hello, Carly. You're on the air. Y'all know this is mom. Hey, hey mom. mom. <laughs> <laughs> we knew. We knew it was coming, mama. <laughs> Hallelujah. I sure wouldn't be right without you calling. I, I just want to say, no matter what a person's going through, y'all are really an inspiration to, to everyone. Praise Thank you, God. Mama. Thank we you love so you, much. mom. Is everything love good at too. home? <laughs> y'all doing good? We love good? you too, mom. Okay, love you, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Love you. Oh, Amen. sweet. That's mom. mom oh, that's so wonderful. sweet. <laughs> our, one of our biggest cheerleaders. And Joshua 21 and 45, again, was saying that um, everything that God had promised uh, uh, was coming to pass to the house yes. of Israel. Yes. It came to pass, which reminds me, I, I, it was a scripture that popped into my head last night at work while I was uh, studying uh -huh. um, the uh, Psalms 84 and 11. Yes. And it says, uh, for God is a sun and shield. My God. The Lord, wait a minute. Yeah, the Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing mm. will he withhold from those who walk upright. My God. So Hallelujah. when we diligently seek him and walk in his ways like that, he said he won't withhold any good thing. My God. But check that out. He said he won't withhold any good thing. So uh -huh. sometimes in our walk with him, yes. when we think we've forgotten him, that maybe that thing that you thought was a good thing is not good oh, for you. Oh, yeah. Because he knows what's good for you. My God, I like that. I like that. I, I receive that yeah, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Because it's sometimes that you, like you, you said, you think you got to have this. You got to have I got to have this. Or you may or, say, or I got to have forgot this. about you. Yes. And he's saying to you, that's not good for you. Oh, my right God. Right now, anyway. And you know, it takes faith also, honey, to walk out the assignment that you may not even feel qualified for. 
Amen. And it's just like last Sunday, I was so <laughs> proud of you, honey. Woo. When I tell you women of God, helpers, intercessors, you know, when I tell you Sarah's daughters, because see, the Bible said we are blessed when we do what Sarah did. So let me tell you, when you just wait on the Lord and intercede for your man of God, you're going to see that word manifest. Because my honey went forth last Sunday at Agape Church International as the worship leader, just setting the app, helping to set the atmosphere after the wonderful praise worship team came yep, forth. And worship. those that, the intercessor, but it was awesome how I saw him stand up there and accept the assignment. And it was just a blessing. And, you know, some of my prayers used to be for you and still is that we pray one for another. One for another. That Amen. Lord bless her. Bless Amen. him. Lord, let, um, let be with his mouth as you were with Moses' mouth. As a matter of fact, be with both of our mouths. And that took a measure of faith that, that to walk in like that. Yes. That was a little mix up um, on the You didn't know you was on the schedule. Yes. Right away. But, um, and I also have to thank uh, our pastor, Pastor Calvert, too. Yes. Because, see, Pastor could have said, you know, he could have said, okay, don't worry about it. That's okay. But he didn't because, uh, you know, I said, well, you know, I said, I can do it. And he said, I know you can. Wow. That right there Amen. helped to give more confidence to yes. the fact that now I can trust in the Lord. But he sees something. He may know something to see something. Because he could have just easily just said, well, no, not this time. We got it covered and whatnot. But he didn't. And I mm -hmm. praise God for that. Yes. And, forth. and we had an awesome time in the Lord. Yes, Lord. Because the Bible said, be ye always ready. Yes. And I'm going to be honest. Sometimes when I don't know I have to do something, uh -huh. I get real mess, you know, kind of off. So <laughs> guess what? I well, was I just so, I was so proud of you, honey. Amen. Because I saw the word man, the rivers of living water flowing through your belly. Oh my God. That's how mm. you seek ye first the kingdom, the kingdom of, of God and, and his righteousness. righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. Yes, Lord. Because it was added unto me. <laughs> and you know, right sometimes when we think the Lord's not answering us, uh -huh. I got to be honest, y'all. Okay. Uh -oh. We're going to tell everybody that's watching. Uh -oh. I remember some years ago I was dealing with, you know, we were recently dealing with our son's diagnosis and dealing with all kinds of things coming our way. And I remember one day I was just in the car and I said, Lord, you, I said, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I'm in the car. I'm having tears rolling down my face. I was like that cell phone commercial that kept saying, because I felt like my connection or my signal must have been off somewhere. Like, God, you can't be hearing me. You see all this going on? But guess what Mark 5, 36? says when Jesus got to Jairus's house Come on. and Jairus just the people sent word back to him and say your daughter is dead Come on. Jesus Come on. said look he said he said don't fret he said only, only believe. believe hello Carly you're on the air only believe yes good, good evening good, good evening I, I just like to say that y'all are one beautiful couple Oh, and, yeah, you know, you. a couple of Sundays ago, I got to really hear y'all speak in person. And uh, I really liked it. You know, I just moved here to the Richmond area from up in Arlington. And I'm trying to uh, fan a church. And uh, I, I, I've been watching y'all and I've been keeping up with y'all. And uh, I think that, you know, I'm going to try to get in with y'all. You know, it was just a blessing that I was able to catch y'all on TV tonight. Amen. And, uh, to God you know, be the glory. So, uh, you know, I love for my wife to meet uh, the pastor there and uh, and yes. meet y'all. You know, yes. but uh, I just like to say y'all are a very beautiful couple. Thank and you. To you God speak be really glory. elegant, and uh, you know, you know, for me just coming down here because my job sent me down here. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I just like to say thank y'all. You know, because y'all have a lot to say. And, um, you know, you can help help a lot of people, you know. Just Amen. keep on speaking what y'all are speaking and uh, just keep doing what y'all are doing, you know. Amen. I just want to give y'all props, you know. Amen. Thank you, brother. Yeah. What, what's your name? My name is Mark. Mark. Okay, brother okay, Mark. Brother Mark. Uh -huh. Mark. Well, well, we, you, you know we had Agape International Ministry. Yes, yes sir. Uh -huh. 8001 Staples Mill Road. 
I yeah, never right there. Him. Yeah, I see this the big poster right the there. Poster, you know, because right I uh, yeah. yeah. And we yeah. pray that the Lord mm -hmm. will continue to bless and prosper you all yes, in all Lord. that you do. Yes. And that God will meet every need, that he will give you your heart's desires. Yes, Lord. And that he will perfect everything, everything. that concerneth you. And God did not lead you all here by chance because yes. it's something even greater that God has in store for Amen. you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to let y'all get back to doing <laughs> Okay, okay. okay. You know, hey, brother, and tell your wife we you know, say hi. Yes. I, I will. Thank y'all very Amen. much. Okay, bye-bye. That's oh, awesome. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Yeah, we we this is this going to be too emotional. Hallelujah. Amen. I know it God because. is good because he said he won't withhold no good thing, and he will use who he chooses to use oh, yes. for him to get the glory in the kingdom. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he usually used those that are the least likely, those that nobody would have thought, because we would have been laughing at you all if we told you, if somebody told us years ago that we would be on television. That's right. If somebody would even tell you that our marriage has taken a leap like it has, and it's I, on a flame of fire. I'll be the first one to tell you that. I remember I made this declaration. I told Yolanda, I said, girl, you will never catch me doing this. Yes, you did. And here I am <laughs> sitting right here now. I, I guess God said, I'm going to show you, boy. Yes, and we were on, you did the radio. You said, look, don't be talking about no television stuff. Yeah. The radio. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, okay. Well, but honey, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. I know it. Hallelujah. Definitely. God knows better. And you know, when we talk With about. Jay Arias. Yeah, Jay Arias. And how he just told him after he got the news. News. Uh-huh. He believe. said, only believe. Only believe. Don't believe what they're saying. Don't believe the statistics. So here it is. So really, we had, we're we trying to get into really the meat or this meat subject, subjects yes. of our conversation tonight, which is going to be uh, Abraham and Sarah. Yes. Abraham and Sarah are our model couples for tonight. Yes, Lord. Yes, we're Lord. We're going to start in Romans 4, start at verse uh, 17. Mm -hmm. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Yes. Now, here we go with uh, Abraham getting ready to take a leap of faith uh -huh. for real, because God is calling him the father of many nations and he can't see this. Yes. At Amen. All. So it, and it takes faith to continue to call those things that you do not see, things that's written in God's word, uh-huh, uh -huh, it things that you know are possible, but yet they look impossible. Right. It takes faith to call your man or your woman a man of God, like I professed years and years ago. Uh -huh. um, it takes faith uh -huh. to continue to hold on to the confession of your faith without wavering. But you can't waver. Yeah, that's you it. Know, you, and even when it looks like, you know, I keep saying this to him, I keep saying this to her, and then nothing changes, you got to keep on saying yes. You got to keep on saying until it manifests itself. Amen. In the natural, where you can visually see this. Verse 18 says, who contrary to hope. Now look, y'all got to catch this one, because this is deep. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. Who contrary to hope, in hope believe. Yes. Who contrary to hope, in hope believe. <laughs> so that he came to be the father of many nations according mm -hmm. to what was spoken, so shall your descendants be. Yes. So this means, Woo. yes, Lord, that when it looks like I should not have any hope, I'll still have hope. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. When all the odds... And circumstances Amen. are against me. Mm -hmm. I'll have hope. That's right. And when even when the promises, uh, uh, these these God's promises are not based on our on, on our current circumstances. Yes. Um, the hindrance or the problems that we have, but they're based on our destiny. Yes. And what he what he wants to do. Yes. Amen. It's really about what he wants to do through us. Through us. Yes. And that's just like just like you just said uh -huh. about Abraham in Genesis seventeen. Um, verses 5 through 15, it says that Abraham received a word from God. Uh -huh. But guess what? His name was Abram. Abram. And Sarah 
received a word from the Lord. Her name was Sarai. Sarai. Come but on, baby. God changed their names. Woo, we Don't need you a name like, change. My God. We yes, need a name yes, change. Yes, yes, yes. We need a name change. <laughs> I love, we had a name change. That's right. Oh, yes, we did. That's right. Oh, Amen. yes. Yes, Lord. So look, God changed their names to match their future. Because, like you said uh, just a few minutes ago, uh -huh. Abraham means father of many nations. That's right. Sarah means mother of <laughs> mother. many nations. So God changed their names before the present caught up with the future. And see, if, <clears throat> as long as we believe God and stay in faith with him, he can change your name from... From weak to strong, My God. from unemployed to employed, yes. from defeated to more than a conqueror, Jesus. from broke to wealthy, yes. from sick to healed, Hallelujah. from depressed to joyous, Jesus. from first to la from last to first, mm. from confused to sound mind. Yes. Yes. He can even he can even change you from separated to being um, one knit. Yes, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how he can change Hallelujah. your name. But Ooh, all Jesus. things are possible to them who believe. Yes. But that's where faith comes in at. And going to verse 19 of the same um, book, Romans chapter 4, 19, and not being weak in faith. Uh-huh. See, sometimes we get, now we all get weak in faith. Yes, I, we I, do. You know, yes. we're we not, we even, um, we not, we even act like we don't. Yes. We all get weak in faith. But the word has an answer for you. You can have enough faith the size of a, a mustard. mustard seed. Come on, honey. And make things happen. My God. <laughs> That's the word. Luke chapter 17. Oh, I love six. it. Mm. It says that it says that if you have enough faith the size of a mustard seed, you can say to the mulberry tree, uh -huh. be pulled up by the roots and be planted into the sea, and it will obey you. Jesus. In other words, just some days that we don't have a whole lot of faith, uh -huh. just enough faith to speak to that issue, speak to that situation, Jesus. can Jesus. make a change. Oh, my God. But we got to believe. You know, that's like I remember some time ago we made up in our mind because we was living paycheck to paycheck. Don't you know they got a TV show about that? Paycheck to paycheck. I said, oh, we could be on there. Oh, really? Many of us could be on that show. Paycheck there. to paycheck, but it was about a single, single person. Amen. I said, oh, my God. But we made up in our mind that we were going to say out of our mouth because death and life is in the power of our tongue. So our confession was we are not going to have another broke day in our lives. That's right. I don't care if we got one, 99 cents. Uh-uh, no, no. What? I'm going to tell you what we, what we shouted over. Okay. We shouted over a nickel. We had a nickel one time left in our <laughs> camp. And I said, honey, God kept his word. We are not broke. And we celebrated over that nickel. And soon oh. after that, we got a blessing. Yes. But I'm just trying to tell you that if you make that confession and believe that, see, everybody say, well, he can't celebrate over no nickel. Oh, well, yeah, because it could have been three zeros with a period right there. You know what that means. Oh, won't God do it? But God oh. put, he left a nickel in there and we celebrated. I mean, just like it was $500,000. Well, yes, we did. And that's what, you know, sometimes people... People don't believe that your rejoicing That's right. is genuine. We learn to rejoice. You, if you praise God over a little bit, then guess what? He can bless you with a whole lot. He told Peter to go to the fish's mouth, and it was money in, in that fish's, fish's mouth. mouth. Now, back to Sarah and Abraham. Well, yes. you know, Abraham was already, what, 100 years old? Yes. And Sarah was in her 80s or 90s? She was in her in Almost her 100, too. Okay. What does it work? And so... And so they weren't really thinking about even having children or anything like that at that time. Yeah, who would be at 190 <laughs> something? But I mean, like Abraham. when you get ready to get in your 50s. I mean, I got a few more years, some some few more, a few more years. But God, I can have but, another baby. But God gave them a word. And but, so what we have so to do. So if God is, gave me a word. <laughs> come on here, Sarah. <laughs> And you're gonna be the no, mother I'm going to be Sarah, be not Sarah. Sarah. I want you to be Sarah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're on the air, Carla. I bless you, couple. Praise you're a lovely couple. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I've been here a long time. Okay. I want to know who's going to pick up the banner for Martin for and Martin? the rest of people that this land they are throwing the homeless mm -hmm. out uh who's going to stand jesus wants to know who is going to stand 
for me. This is serious. Right. And I want you all to understand that things are more critical because they're not telling you the truth here. You'll never get a truth here in America because mm -hmm. that's not your home. You right. must understand where I'm coming from. Uh-huh. Say. But the evil that's going on, and God said the poor will always be, be with, with you. Him. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. We must do more. We must stand. You, either you're going to die for him. Right. This is the truth. You, you, it's going to cost. Then it cost the cross. Look at the cross. Amen. Right. He Amen. did nothing. Yes, ma'am. He did nothing. <laughs> yes, right. ma'am. Amen. That's true. Amen. Amen. Watch the cross. I Hallelujah. want the women, especially the black women, because we are kings and queens. I know yes, that's yes, right. Yes, we are. in Africa. I don't need any response. Hallelujah. Because I know who I am. Amen. 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 And I know where y'all going. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I want you to speak special to the black women. We are the queens. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Amen. We are the ones that give the birth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You cannot change the Bible. Do not get caught up in that rhetoric. Yes. Amen. Because Amen. you're going to have to stand before the Father. And I just want to bless y'all to stay in love. Amen. But Amen. ask the Father for strength. And it's going to cost you now. Amen. Because you are going to have to choose. Mm. Amen. Amen. I'm going to hang up, but I had to say that to you. Amen. Uh, amen. Because it is on its way. Can't you see? What's going on? Yes. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Ma they think that man is in charge. He's not in charge. Mm -hmm. This G7, you in the back of the book. You're not in the beginning. You at the end in now. The end. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Amen. I want you to understand where I'm coming from. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. I want these young ladies to close their legs. Hallelujah. Amen. Close, please. Amen. Close your legs. Yes. Thank Don't you bring so much. here. Hallelujah. Amen. We talk to them. Teach them how to clean themselves. Teach yeah. them how to cook. Yeah. Amen. You don't need all of this foolishness. Amen. Teach Amen. them. If you born a child, raise, raise the child. Them. Amen. God is Amen. You. you can't keep up. God is not a pimp. I know Amen. that's right. You don't love no one, no better. Than, than anybody other. else, yes. Amen. I'm trying to tell y'all what I see. Amen. I see these things that's coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, and man. And I bless y'all children. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I say good night to you. Thank good you. Good night God to you and God you. bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. We receive that yes, in we Jesus' do. name. In Jesus' name. Those are words so of wisdom. wisdom. And not just wisdom is I just don't receive the word. We apply the word. And when, and when she was talking, it, it reminded me of Hebrews chapter 4, uh, and verse 2. It says, for indeed the gospel was preached mm. to us as well to them. But the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith Amen. in those who heard it. Yes. In other words, when we hear the word and, and, it, and, and we know that faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But if we don't mix that faith with that word, yes. it profits us nothing because as soon God. as we leave out of this set right here or leave out of church yes. or anything, it goes away. It does us no good. My God. So hallelujah Jesus. to I that. I love that. And that's the difference now that you even say that, honey, because we know that God's word can transform. Mm -hmm. It can renew, mm -hmm. it can ignite, it can set your whole life ablaze in a good way. Set you Hallelujah. on one of the Bible even talks about that his ministering angels and his ministers are to be flames of fire. I don't want to be an ordinary average Christian because guess what? I was that in the world and then beneath that. So guess what? Because I got the we got the word because the yes. word says that after you receive the Holy Spirit, Spirit. you shall receive 
receive power. power. So to me, power sounds like something that you're not just average. You're not walking around defeated. You're not walking around just like the woman of God said. You're not just walking around saying that every man hurt me and every woman hurt me. So I got to hook up with the same sex. The same sex can hurt you just like the opposite sex hurt Amen. you. We got to believe this word. I don't care if who stands for what God against God's word. We are going to say what we believe in. This is what we believe in because this is who we are. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. Yes, and this brings us to a very important part, even concerning Abraham. Yes. Because it continues to say that he staggered not or he did not waver. Yes. At the promises of God through unbelief. My God. But was strong in faith. Strong. Giving glory to God and being fully persuaded. That Hallelujah. what he had promised was also he was going to perform. He was fully persuaded. My God, Jesus. Amen. You're on the air. Back again. How you doing? Hey, hey. brother. I, I like what you're talking about. Uh, what I wanted to add to that, you can bring forth fruit in old age. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Why, Caleb, why, yeah. Caleb was 85. He said, give me this mountain. A lot of people think because you've gotten older, that you can't do anything. Uh -huh. Winston Churchill became prime minister of England at 77. Reagan wow. became president at 69. Wow, I didn't know so that. So age, age has nothing to do with it. That's right. And can I add, when you said it about Caleb, Caleb mm -hmm. said when he was 85, he felt just as good. good. As yeah. he did when he was in his 40s. 40s. Come on. Here. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. Yes, yeah. Jesus. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for Thank that. Thank you, Brother Tim. Okay. All right. God bless Amen. you. I know that's why. Hey, this is interactive. That's right. Because iron shopping iron, one man shopping is another. That's right. Hallelujah. Woo. But I like what you were saying, honey, before about Abraham not staggering, not wavering at the promises, at the promises of God. the promises of God like that. He was fully persuaded. And that's the only thing that God really wants us to do is be fully persuaded that his word is what it is, yes. that he will perform those things that he said that he will do. And, you know, I want just it's so when you said that about hearing the word, hearing the word and applying the word, that's the difference. I was talking to um, a, a woman of God, a friend, and she was saying how her husband is, um, you know, how I always refer to you as a man of God. Uh -huh. And she said her husband is a church going man uh -huh. and you know you don't want the difference is a church going or goer is just like somebody who go to the gym everybody to go to the gym is not in the gym to work out i mean you would think you would be just like everybody to come to church see the man of god or the woman of god not perfect but allowing the lord to perfect them and want to grow in their walk with christ and want and makes jesus the lord of their life yes. and the true savior of their soul mm -hmm. but somebody to just go there will go there get excited about the word and go on home and live any kind of way treat their made any kind of way, treat everybody else any kind of way. Amen. That's the difference in somebody that goes. You ought to say, I'm not going to church another day and not get something out of it and not something change in my life. That's what just ties in to what I just read about Hebrews 4 and 2. Yes. You go and you hear the word, and but it doesn't do anything to you because you're just going to church. You're a church goer. Yes. Everybody can do that. You and, know, a church goer, but you got you want to come out with some expectation. When, I, when I'm heading into the house of the Lord, first of all, I'm entering into his gates with a praise. With thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. And into his courts with a praise. Yes, yes, sir. That's the first yes, thing. Sir. I'm coming in there with an expectation yes. that whatever was, I came in there with, I'm not leaving with it. I'm going to leave it right there with him. Yes. And he's going to give me something new and brand new to bring out there with me. Because mm -hmm. I need to be refreshed and renewed. When I go into that, when I go into the house of the Lord, I, I, I need the reassurance that whatever that, that's coming off the lips of that priest is going to be a, a reassurance of what God has already showed me or said to me, even in our study or our private time with him. Yes. That confirmed, that has confirmation to get me from point A to point B until we meet again. And that's just goes with 
like the word says in Deuteronomy about um, teaching your children um, the word of God, meditating on day and night. Mm -hmm. You know, we even before we get into the house of God, right. we had to learn this. Years ago, we started off reading the children's Bible, the children's and Bible. we loved it for our children. We were babes, even though we were grown ups. Yeah. We were really babes. Yeah. So guess what? We had to we had to read and study on our level until we graduated until to we, another level. Yeah. And so when you you don't don't leave Bible study or leaving the Bible says study to show yourself approved, mm -hmm. rightly dividing the word mm -hmm. of truth. So you don't even let, let leave that purely up to the preacher. Now, if you don't know any better like we didn't at the time, that's different. But you have a responsibility that's right. to share that word with your husbands and wives and share it with your children. That's right. We have that responsibility. Amen. And going and just staying along those lines, even in thinking of faith and, and, and how good God is, mm -hmm. Philippians 4 and 8 says, um, brothers, whatever is finally brothers, whatever is true, yes. whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, uh -huh. if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Amen. So we want to always think about good things when we talk about God and faith and things like that, because that's who he is. He wants us to be relaxed, renewed in our, in our minds, yes, to be Lord. at peace. He never wants us to, to, to be all tight mm -hmm. so that we can't um, allow the Holy Spirit to work through us. If, if we I be know in that's him right. and he be in us, then there's nothing that, what, you know? But this is the thing. We have to remember this too. Okay. Even when we're walking by faith. Okay. Everybody, sometimes you're going to walk by faith like the woman of God said. It may cost you something. It oh, may cost wow. you some yeah. people. Yeah. Everybody may not be on board with you. Mm -hmm. Like in Acts 12 and 1, honey, okay. when the people were praying for Peter and Peter was locked up and the angel of the Lord came and released Peter and led him out and led him out the prison. Um, and constant, the Bible says that, and we're paraphrasing, constant prayer was made for Peter. So when Peter got to the door, the ho same house that they had been praying, mm -hmm. praying at, Everybody um, was there and he knocked on the door and the young servant by the name of Rhoda came to the door because she recognized Peter's voice. And so she got so excited that she went back to tell the people, Peter's at the door. He's knocking at the door. Wait, look, your, <laughs> yeah. your answer prayer is He's knocking, knocking at, at the door. door. Yeah. Oh, they said, no, that must be the angel. What was, were you praying for an angel to come? <laughs> no, you were praying for Peter. <laughs> so here it is. They told her, you are beside yourself. <laughs> that's yeah. Not like church yeah, that's how that's like some like people we know. Going, oh, who are oh, y'all to believe that God's yourself. gonna perform a miracle in y'all son? Yeah. Who are y'all to believe <laughs> that God's gonna work that out for your good? Who are Ooh. you to believe that? So they say you are beside yourself. You are beside and that's what yourself. some people see. We have experienced this. Some people that dropped off along the way. Mm -hmm. Cause guess what? How things going? Things are going Boy, well. Great. Great. Absolutely. Hallelujah. God is a healer. He is. He yes. is just working his perfect work. Hallelujah. I know that's right. He that he may be his, glorified. That he is working Hallelujah. his perfect work. And they said, look, yet she kept insisting. No, it's Peter. See, that's what happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. The man of God that you've been praying Come for. Come on now. The woman of God that you've been praying Come for. On, girl. They get ready to show up at the door, but that's you right. can't even receive it. That's you right. still looking at the whoremonger man. Uh -oh. You still looking at the adulterer. Yeah. You still looking at with the honey, the, at the pimp, pimp, at the liar, yeah, at the cheater. cheater. But God mm -hmm. said, no, you've been praying all this time. Now they get ready to rise. I'm telling you, you may not believe it because you're going by what you see, but you ought to have an earnest expectation of the Ooh, Lord. That's oh a good my word God. Right there. Have an, an earnest, earnest expectation. expectation. You know it's like the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost, they were sitting there waiting for the Holy Ghost. You ought to expect the that's how I got feet. I listened to a word about the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. and you and I think God, say, God filled with the Holy Spirit at the same year. But guess what? We heard the word preach. Yes. We believed that word. Yes. I went back and I told one of my prayer partners at the time, because yes. now you my prayer partner, and guess what? I'm over the phone. 
I was in college. Yes. Working woman, wife, everything. Got filled with the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Over the Hallelujah. phone. Hallelujah. I tell you, Jesus. if you're still Ooh. looking for ordinary, you need to change your confession to extraordinary. Yes. Because that's what I got to do for Ooh, you. Jesus. I'm going to tell you, at one time, me and my wife would be out somewhere, and this is just the, the kind of faith walk that she had. You know, if somebody needed a prayer, she'll stop and drop right there. Boom. We stop and drop right there. And me at the time, I was like, well, you know, how you know? She was like, honey, it don't even matter. If they want, if they need a prayer, we can pray for them right here. Yes. But you know what? That thing rubbed off because, hey, now I stop and Hallelujah. drop. Hallelujah. If you need a prayer, we're not going to just say, pray for me. Oh, no, no. Don't go nowhere. We're going to pray right store, now. Wherever. In the grocery store. Oh, my God. Work. It said nail faith uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Nail faith. So that's, <laughs> God, glory Gee, to God. It's Hallelujah. just like years ago. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We did not know what prophecy, believe in prophecy. When we got, we went from um, one denomination to non-denomination. And I'll never forget the man of God came and prophesied to us as, yeah, a, family. as a family. And we were looking. And my husband was looking like, oh my God, I know this is real. Nobody else saw what we were doing and the man of God described it. He was a guest prophet mm -hmm. and he said, I see you riding through the city and looking at some houses and the things you and the fam, you desire for the family, even the guy, the kids, they were kids then. Yep. And let even me tell college you, tuition college for, tuition for, for, for Donald Jim Jr. Jr. And yep. God met that, that prophecy showed up. It said to believe the Lord your God and you shall prosper and, you should and believe the word of the, the prophet. prophet. Oh, believe no. you should be established. established. Thank you, Holy yeah, Spirit. And believe the word of the prophet. And you shall and prosper. You shall prosper. Mm -hmm. We could just go on and on. And we remembered our vision book. Yeah, we didn't lose it. We didn't lose it. We, we didn't lose we, it. We asked the Holy we Spirit the to Holy show Ghost, it. We asked the Holy Ghost. He showed it right up to us. And this is one thing that we had written. This is, what year is this? 2006, audience. Consistent prayer. Yes. Reading and fasting, fasting together, together with the kids. Yeah. Date nights. Y'all know we get ready to go on date night. Uh-huh. Two two times a month at least without the kids. Taking the kids to nice restaurants. Streams of income. And let me tell you, this one I love right here. Because okay. it wasn't just natural, some spiritual things. We should be instruments of change on our jobs, in our communities, in our families, and to help to restore, enhance, empower others in their marriage through God's wisdom and strength. That was part of our vision, part of our vision yes. book. God is God so, is so awesome. Because so, now we can look back. Remember we talk about Habakkuk uh, 2 and 2, and we talked about that, about writing the vision and make it plain. Yes, yes. And so now we can look back and see that. And so... <laughs> Glory to God. Glory you know, to he's God. good to show us those things that he has brought to pass. Yes. But we had to only believe. And so here's a few things that, that we just want to leave you with. If you're still waiting on the promises of God. Yes. And then you need to make sure that you watch your confessions of what you say. Yes. Amen. Believe God even though your situation seems hopeless. Yes. Yes. Hold on to your faith because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Don't allow the facts to outweigh what God has promised you. Yes, Lord. Don't go back and forth with belief and unbelief. Yes, like Lord. Like the man said about the demon possessed son he said lord i believe but help my unbelief uh -huh, uh -huh. hallelujah keep your confession in god that he's able to perform what he said yes and if you have any kind of need say i know god supplies all of my needs Hallelujah. if you don't know which way to go you say lord order my steps Hallelujah. if you don't feel like you're if you feel like you're the last you need to say the last shall be first if you feel like you're always coming up on the tail end of everything you yes. need to say i'm the head and not the tail if you feel cursed i i promise you you can say out your mouth i'm blessed and watch god perform his word now in mark 11 22 and 22 24 it says have faith in god yes for assuredly i say to you who's whoever says to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but yes. believes that those things that he says will be done you will have whatever he says Therefore, I say to you, whatsoever things you ask when you pray, pray. believe that, that you receive them and you will have them. them. My God, That's Jesus. It. 
That's Ooh, Jesus. I can just get up and dance. Hallelujah. Go but I might mess dance. up my mic. <laughs> Y'all know I'm leaping. I'm serious. I could just, you know, oh my God, it's something of oh, the Lord, though. God's word. The word even say is quick, it's powerful. It's and shopping, shopping it in two edges, so it. Oh, Jesus. Well, we time pray. always goes by and fly when we're having fun. Yes. And we want to invite you to visit our website. It's on the, on the screen below because guess what? We have our upcoming play that we're going to do again, hopefully in July or somewhere this summer. So you're going to have to check out. Just come back and forth on our website in case we're not on, on television. And we'll put something out on Facebook. Yes, Facebook. Everybody on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody Except on you, Facebook. Except you, honey. Except me. Well, you are on there because I'm on there. And right. for better or for worse is on there. And come out to visit us if you can at Agape International Ministry. Yes. At 1001 Staples Mill Road. Where pastors uh, Cliff, Cliff Coward and Vicky, and Vicky Coward. Coward. Yes, at yeah. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. They have an 8 a.m. service as well. Yes. And we also have Bible study on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Yes. Uh, the Women's uh, Agape Women's Conference is uh, April the 4th, 5th, and 6th. Uh huh. Just go to, the, to their website, to the website about more details for that. But look, we, this has been so awesome. We give God all the glory. We're expecting some praise reports from you all. Yes. Next week, we're going to be talking about one of our favorites. Everything in the Bible is our favorite. favorite. But we're going to be talking about prayer. Prayer. Oh, my God. Who doesn't need prayer? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. it's about time for us to head on out for our date yes. night. Yes, yes. But until then... You keep your marriage solid as a rock.